and there's time feel. So those are two separate things. And I think that it's important for everyone, every musician to focus more on your time feel. I grew up in um, Marietta, Georgia. That's a, one of the states. It's right above Florida, and uh, I went to uh, I went to school in Florida after you know I left Georgia, the University of Miami, and I studied music there and played saxophone and all that. Learned a lot of music theory that I use today, you know, and um, from there, I went to California for like a little bit and met Kenny Burrell, and I played with him for about three years, four, not actually about four years, four or five years. And I, have, and I was able to record an album with him, and that started me off in the musical career. I moved to New York in 2009. I didn't have any money, so I lived in my car for the oh. first three months oh, oh yeah. shit okay it was crazy I don't know what I was thinking but I you know now when I think now like mm -hmm. I can't believe I did that you know but I did it and um I started going to jam sessions and meeting people met you met yeah. other people and all that stuff and my career started growing as I would you know played with Gregory Porter and I played with RH Factor and Esperanza Spaulding and, you know, started traveling the world. R&B singer, Joe Thomas. In New York City, I played with Ari Honig. He taught me a lot about um, rhythm and melody and being very spontaneous and, and improvising in the moment yeah. with rhythms and all that stuff in songs. So. I don't know what else to say, but <laughs> I'm a happy musician. <laughs> I think that there are two, two things that people don't always separate. One is there's, there's a rhythm, meaning the rhythm of like that's a rhythm, but then there's time feel. So those are two separate things. And I think that it's important for everyone, every musician to focus more on your time feel. The time feel is how it feels, how the groove feels overall, mm -hmm. you know? Instead of the exact rhythmic, there are a lot of people who can play in very complicated odd meters mm -hmm. and seven, four or nine, eight or something like that. Or, 13, four, but the time feel doesn't feel good. So it's important to have this groove. It's important. So I was playing drums. I remember playing in church. I was like 10 years old. You know, I had all these crazy rhythms in my head, but it was out of time. It was out of time. So they would be like, you know, Devon, you know, you, you know, you're playing really well, but you, we're, we're losing, we don't have a, it doesn't feel good. It's got to feel good. Mm -hmm. So there's, there's, a, there's, this, there's this thing, a wave, a wave of goodness of just, just the, the time feel. And then learn more rhythms and incorporate more rhythms within the time feel. When I help them with their time feel, you have to obviously listen Mm -hmm. Listen to a lot of things with great time feel. Get into it. Mm -hmm. Just listening, listening, and that desire. And then the second thing is, like I said, recording yourself. You know, does it, when you record yourself playing, does it feel good? Does it feel good? Just keep trying and trying and trying. You eventually, your, your body will learn, you know, you just have to stay at it, you know.